First you gotta shake it, and then you gotta bake it. Okay, so here's what we got. This is what I'm going to be doing for my diet. This is my meal prep. For my carbs, I got my good old cornbread right here. As you can see, I made sure that they were all exactly the same size. Not really. Kind of fucked that up, but they'll all taste the same. And then I got my chicken here. This is my breaded shake and bake chicken. First you got to shake it, then you got to bake it. Thanks to my lovely wife. She actually did that for me. And then I got gravy. Oh, delicious gravy. So each, this is three pounds of chicken. Uh, each one of these weighed out to be a pound for two. So I'm going to wake up and I'm actually going to eat this for breakfast. <clears throat> a whole pint, I guess. Uh, 24 ounces, one pound of cottage cheese, which is 72 grams of protein. That's my breakfast, and then at 9, I will do some chicken smothered in gravy with cornbread, and I'll do that at 9, noon, and 3. And that will be my food for breakfast and during the day. Whenever I get home from work, I'm going to do some Greek yogurt. I'm going to do two, uh, two Greek yogurts, which is roughly around 30 grams of protein, and then I'm going to do some branched-chain amino acids while I work out with white grape juice and then after that I'll do a protein shake and that will put me at 431 grams of protein a day uh, carbs I don't know I don't care fats I don't know I don't care um, but the main thing is my protein right now 431 grams a day and this is all to get me hopefully building up some more muscle because I'm sitting around 265 right now now with that being said, I'm going to be really focusing on my protein right now, which is going to be 431 grams of protein a day roughly. My body weight's sitting at 265, so I'm in the 275 weight class for powerlifting. And all this is in preparation for a local meet that's coming up August 19th. I'm planning on entering and competing in. Now with it being August 19th, that gives me nine weeks to build. A deload week, three weeks to peak, and then take the week off of the competition to kind of rest and let my body recover for the actual meet. So I'm going to see what weight I can put up. Now I do have plans to hit certain numbers in the meet. Um, now I'm doing three week wave mesocycles. So every three weeks as my training adjusts, so will my food. I'll increase the amount of food that I'm eating as my training goes on. So Right now, I'm only starting off with three pounds of chicken and the amount of everything else I'm eating, which isn't that much food. So as the weeks go on, so will, as the weight increases in my training, so will the food that I eat during the day. And I'll slowly try to increase that as I go, depending on how much I can stomach. Now, um, <clears throat> for the competition, I'm probably not going to be able to pull exactly or you know, hit what I would have preferred to hit because it's been this October will be two years since I've competed since my injuries and work and scheduling and everything like that. I haven't been able to get on the platform for a while, but now I'm going to be able to actually hopefully get on there in August if everything goes right. My plans and my last competition, I only totaled 1328 was my total. It was, I believe, a 446 squat. I can't remember exactly. It was a 330 bench and a 551 deadlift. So when we break in my uh, my sturdum last year in April, um, I'm now recovering and my bench training is going along pretty well. So hopefully I'll be able to put up around 345 on the bench in competition. And then my deadlift, I'm planning on pulling 600 in the meet. I'm um, hopefully I'll be able to pull 600 in the meet. Now for my squat, now that's the tricky thing. It seems like as soon as something goes right, something goes wrong. Um, a few weeks back, about four weeks ago, I was doing low bar. I was warming up with 285, and I was down in the hole, 
and I felt a popping and a burning in the upper right side of my groin, the inner thigh, the groin basically. So I, I tore my groin. I thought it was a hernia. I thought I opened up and let some of my guts hang out, but there was no bulging or no nothing like that. So it wasn't a hernia. It was just a torn, just a tear, a minor tear. There wasn't no bruising or anything like that. So I'm still recovering. I tried to do low bar squats last week. I've been doing box squats and high bar uh, box squats, and I've been fine, but I've been staying really light. And I tried to do some low bar squats, and I got up to shit. 95 pounds and I could feel it. I didn't hurt it. I could just feel the area. So I was like, nope, I racked it and haven't touched it really since. Um, I've been rolling and I've been using um, my heavy bars to roll out my legs. I've been doing some stretching and trying to rehab it the best I can. So I'm going to start doing high bar squats for my training. And I haven't done high bar squats in a long time. That's what I used to squat. And uh, the, my best high bar squat was a 455 in the gym. And then I was switched to low bar, and low bar I did like 446, I think. I want to say I was 446 in competition. And uh, so my high bar was always better than my low bar, but I just like the way a low bar squat feels. It just feels better on my back than doing the high bar, um, easier on my knees. But I'm going to switch up to the high bar because I'm going to do what I can. I'm not going to dwell on what I can't do and be all stressed out about it. And hopefully, if I can get a 400-pound squat, and competition with a 345 bench and a 600 pound deadlift that will give me a 1345 total which will be 17 pounds heavier than my last competition so i'm going to be drinking a gallon of water a day not with my meals just throughout the day a gallon of water plus the fluids i drink with my meal i'm putting sodium and potassium in everything i drink i'm putting sodium and everything and potassium in everything i eat um I mean, y'all saw what I'm going to be eating, and that's what I'm going to be drinking. And then uh, probably noon tablets, emergencies, propels, uh, Pedialyte is what I'll be doing for my fluids. And then my training is going to be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, like normal. It's my normal training split and routine. And I already have all my programming fixed out for me, and I already got all my dieting fixed out. Well, at least adjusted uh, to the actual competition if everything goes right, and I'm able to hit all my numbers. So we'll see where this goes and what it takes me and like i said i'm about 265 right now and i'm in the 275 weight class so i'm either going to lose weight from training or i'm going to gain weight from eating one of the two my first competition i was 250 my second one i was 255 so i'm heavier by 10 pounds on my last one and we'll see if i can't close the gap to that 275 i can sit around 275 man but the amount of food i got to eat is just ridiculous to keep my body weight up but we'll see what I can manage to pull off. So if you guys are interested in this, you know, I'm going to be probably posting every week some training, some dieting, maybe just some how I feel and everything of the sort and everything in between. Hopefully I stay injury free and I'm able to compete. But, well, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching.